<laughs> we got snakes and turtles. All right, I'm on my way to, hold on, let me put my seatbelt on. Let's do this again. All right, I'm on my way south right now to meet up with my buddy Jay York. We're gonna be looking for the Sewanee alligator snapping turtle. Now this is a turtle that has not necessarily eluded me because I have caught two of them last year. I caught an adult with a turtle conservancy and then me and Jay caught a small juvenile last year. Uh, but I, I've yet to really get great photos of an adult. Um, so, I mean, any that we get on this trip would be fantastic. Um, so we're, I'm gonna head down here and we're gonna hunt around and see what we get. Fingers crossed we get an adult, but I'll, I'll settle for a juvenile again. Uh, it's, it's always awesome to be down in the Sewanee River drainage. It's, it's just totally different uh, than where I'm normally at. So uh, really excited and uh, hopefully this pans out. All right, checking out this big spillway in South Georgia and first turtle right here. Found this little stink pot running along the bottom. Uh, these guys are really awesome little musk turtles. Uh, usually one of the first turtles I'll end up finding here. And in addition to some of the Suwannee cooters and yellow-bellied sliders, uh, they're usually the more obvious turtles that you'll see in this spot. So I'm gonna let this guy go and keep looking. See you later, buddy. So I came down to South Georgia and my goal today, today's actually World Turtle Day and I decided to spend it herping and looking for turtles and um, so my goal today is to find the Swanee alligator snapping turtle. It's really hard to find so I've got to come way down south near the border and check out all these little tiny creeks like this. Let's see if I find anything. All right, so I decided to spend World Turtle Day uh, down in South Georgia. I met up with my buddy, Jay York. Whoa! I'll give a link to uh, Jay's YouTube channel, Getting Lost with Jay York. And uh, luckily I did meet up with him because we came to a place where his buddy said he saw a Suwannee alligator snapper yesterday. And sure enough, we were hiking the creek and Jay was like, there it is. He spotted this big, beefy female alligator snapping turtle. Uh, right now we're carrying it back towards the car because I brought my camera down here and I wanted to get some footage and photos of it. So we're making a walk back through the swamp to shoot some photos of that beautiful turtle. Uh, couldn't be any happier, man. It's a great way to spend World Turtle Day. So <laughs> it's unreal. It doesn't even seem real right now. Super stoked. They did it. We were walking this creek where, uh, what's your name? Colton. Colton had spotted this turtle earlier, uh, you said yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, yeah. last night. So we came here on a whim and uh, somehow found what's most likely the same turtle. It's a really old female Sewanee alligator snapper. Just gonna try and get a piece of my phone. But big, beautiful turtle, beautiful yellow color. Oy. And then I'm gonna try and not get bit first, but I'm also gonna try and, whoa. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna also try and get some photos of her. So uh, we're gonna haul this back and I'm gonna get the leeches off my hands. Whee! From my memories, the head was bigger and the ridges were smoother. Sweat. Yeah, they were smoother and it was- Well, I mean. But then again, it was under the water. So well, I know I can't be sure, but. I know after you saw it, you, you texted me that the, the ridges were pretty smooth. Yeah, they were pretty smooth. And I also don't remember that those scars on top. So. I mean, I don't want to get your hooks up. There you go. <laughs> you make it look like a monster. Yeah. Awesome. It's got some weight to it. creek for like five minutes while I was trying to get the turtle out. Alright, part of the journey back to the car is to get some photos. To walk through the swamp and the creek and back under this bridge. But it'll all be worth it.
I'm gonna let this girl go. Another look at this beautiful Sewanee alligator snapping turtle. Uh, we're gonna take her now and we're gonna release her. Uh, Jay found her, so he gets to carry her. Also, I'm lazy. So, but yeah, we got really lucky today. Really stoked we found this. So we're gonna carry over to the river, send her back on her way, and uh, couldn't be more stoked to see this beautiful turtle. My first large one in the wild as well. Never yeah. seen an adult in the wild. Yeah. And they're not normally out during the day, so don't get yeah. spoiled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Early spring is like the only exception. <laughs> All right. Oh, there goes a rat snake. Is that a rat snake? Yeah. Trying to get rodent. That's funny, I got it on film too. What are you doing? Oh, I, I see you. I thought it was a water snake. Like, Man, That's a pretty rat snake. That's like a white oak rat snake. Yeah, yeah, there's a little gap around here. Come here, buddy. What's up? When people come urban here, they're always like super stoked about the rat snake one. Man, this is just... Yeah, I'm gonna carry you over here. I just wanna get a shot of you. That is a pretty rat snake. He's covered in sand, but he's pretty. I've seen lighter than that. Wow. I'm so used to the really dark, ugly rat snakes. Yeah. I guess that's why everybody gets stoked. All right, buddy, let's take you up here. Do you want a shot of this? Yeah, I'll, you want to let her go? You, you want to just hang on to the snake or? Yeah. <laughs> we got snakes and turtles. Hey, Don't buddy. Don't get it too close. Yeah, I know, she'll What's destroy up? that thing. All right, you go ahead. I'm gonna just film while holding this rat snake. Okay. disappear into the dark. Wow. Pretty sweet. See you later. later. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? All right. Got a little Sewanee cooter. Uh, it was hiding out on the bottom and Jay scooped it up. Pretty turtle. Pretty little eyes on these guys. All right, I'm gonna let her go. Sewanee Cooter at sunset. This one is actually missing a back leg. Looks like a raccoon or something might have got her. Could be a river otter. You know, really could be anything, but it doesn't seem to slow her down. This turtle is actually, for its size, is actually really heavy. So I'm gonna let her go. Let her motor off back into uh, her little spot here at the uh, spillway. See you later. Spunky little guy, but pretty. Look at all those little spots. I love the loggerheads down here. They look so cool. Nice. Run along the bottom of this small creek. All right, next turtle is this old, um, almost like mosaic pattern male Florida cooter. Uh, it's also known as the Coastal Plain Cooter. And this guy's older, so he's got like almost like a mosaic pattern kind of taking over. It's similar to when sliders get melanism. And uh, this guy was just cruising along the bottom. So uh, pretty cool. Always fun to see coastal plain cooters. And the males don't really get that big. So this is pretty good size for an adult male coastal plain cooter. All right, next turtle, male Sewanee cooter. This guy was actually foraging at night, eating some algae. And uh, these guys will do that. Sometimes during the, the heat of the day, it's too hot and they'll spend most of it underwater or basking. And then in the early evening, they'll actually come out and feed on algae at night. So uh, beautiful turtle. I love the Sewanee cooters with their pretty eyes and lots of pattern on the bottom of their shells. So uh, really awesome to see this guy. Beautiful male Sewanee cooter. All right, this is a big girl Sewanee cooter. As you can see, this is a very big turtle. These guys are the largest of the Sudemis of the uh, cooters. And you can see why. This one's not even as big as they get, but that's a really big, really big turtle. And they really are just the uh, the king of the cooters. They don't come any bigger than this. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you 
get it? Oh. Watch out, that Swanee Cooter made a break for it. Is it gone? Yeah, it like shot off into the water. Oh, there it is. You see it? Right there. Mm, big, big brown water snake. Wow. Look at that thing. It's like a boa. It does. My first, my first brown water snake was this big. Are they, is it docile? Sometimes the big ones are pretty yeah. docile. Hmm. Oh, it stinks. It feels like handling a rattlesnake. That's yeah. how thick it is. Yeah, that thing's been eating good. I remember you said these are catfish specialists? Oh yeah, ouch. Yeah, gum. Yeah, they they really do like catfish. Um, I've actually heard of people find them with catfish spines sticking out their sides. And it's pretty common to see them out here just sitting underneath where the, the water comes down and they'll just catch catfish as they walk through. It's pretty cool. You can usually get to see them actually hunting when you're out here. I mean, they're constantly eating.